A wheelchair-bound veteran needs help getting in and out of his home. Yeah, he and his daughter tried to get help from the VA, but when they hit a dead end, well, they contacted two on your side. CBS2 investigator Christine Lazar joins us now with their story. Christine. Crystal and Jeff, this vet has a myriad of health problems, which means he has a lot of doctor's appointments, and anytime he wants to go outside, his daughter has a heck of a time getting him out. One more. Anytime Fran Wright wants to take her 89 year old father, Frank St. Germain, out of his house, <sighs> she struggles to get his wheelchair down his front steps. <sighs> Two on your side was there as she took him outside in the sweltering heat. It's a lot of work and it's heavy, and I've even injured my back. Desperate for relief, Fran contacted the Veterans Administration in Long Beach back in March, asking them to build ramps at her father's La Palma home. The VA will pay to make veterans' homes accessible under a program they call Easy Access. But Fran says the program has been anything but easy. My dad served in the military, he was in Korea. Come on. Let's give back to our service people. Frank is a Marine who fought in the Korean War. He's now legally blind, has heart disease, and is on dialysis. I don't want him sitting here in the house. I need him to get him out. I want to get him out, get some fresh air. I want to get him enjoy life. The trouble started when the VA sent a contractor out. Fran says he told her in order for the ramp okay. to be ADA compliant, it would be so wide that it would block the door to her garage. She protested, so Fran says the contractor agreed to come up with another solution. He called back a few weeks later and said removable rubber ramps would work. I said, that's great. So I hadn't heard anything for quite a while. It was so I figured I'm going to call and find out where we are in the process. That's when she says the contractor told her the job was off. The VA has canceled the contract, and I said why. He said, well, because it doesn't meet ADA requirements. So Fran says she called the VA. Well, they're checking into it. The contract is supposed to get back to me, and I'm still waiting. It should not be this difficult. Frank has been waiting too. He's most upset that no one called them to tell them that their ramps were canceled. So we're sitting here like bumps on a log waiting for an answer. If Fran had the call, we'd still be waiting. It's now been more than four months since Fran initially requested help from the VA. It should not be this difficult for a veteran or anybody to get what they need. As soon as two on your side got involved, the VA sprung into action and admitted that neither Fran nor Frank were notified that there were issues with their job. They also immediately scheduled an appointment for a new contractor to go out to the house. They tell me they will continue to work with Fran and Frank to find an option that is ADA compliant and will improve their communication moving forward. We also have an update tonight on a story we brought you earlier this month. A widower was struggling after his insurance company, Kaiser, failed to reimburse him close to $28,000 after his wife became critically ill and died while visiting family in the Philippines. Two on your side got involved and Kaiser expedited his claim and today he got his check, almost $28,000. So we are getting results. Sometimes yes. it just takes a little time. And the VA, I, to their credit, they say they are committed yeah. to getting a solution for Frank so he can go outside and not have you know, such a headache. It's the very least that we could do for him with all of those years of service. So yep, definitely. Thank you so much, Christine. Mm -hmm. Well, can Two on Your Side help you out? Just email us at twoonyourside at cbs.com with your problem or use Twitter and the hashtag Two on Your Side. We'll see what we can do for you to help solve your problem. And we're also helping veterans. If you know of a veteran with an interesting story or one who needs help, please email us at veteransvoices at cbs.com or check out our veterans page at cbsla.com.